What's up dudes and dudettes, my name's Seth and today we are going to be taking a first look at Callie's Caves 3. This game very much reminds me of Mega Man, Cave Story, Shovel Knight, stuff like that. It's actually a very, very fun, very quick, addicting game. And uh, on the title screen right here you can see there's a new game plus if you end up being in the game there's a survival mode. Vera's Quest and Melvin's Zone are two different campaigns, but for today we're just going to be going into the normal campaign. As you can see right here, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like I can uh, re start a new file here even though we went to new game this actually loaded a previous file that I already have but that's okay that'll work for uh, this video I actually have my gun is a little bit leveled up right now and we have a basic sword attack the gun also the default pistol is actually actually most of the guns that I've ran into seem to be semi-automatic so you're gonna have like y your finger is gonna get quite a workout especially because you can cause so much more extra damage if you're willing to tap of course you can't hold the button but unfortunately it does not actually go nearly as fast as your finger can tap so as you're going around the world gathering all these coinage and stuff like that you are going to of course end up using it later on when you find a shop this can be used to upgrade your weapons and gear and stuff like that as well as your character is leveling up as you're killing enemies too you can see our gun in the top right is actually I think level six already and we can swap over to a shotgun which is only level two as you can see, it's another semi-automatic again, but the shotgun for the most part I'm not going to be using because even though it's really, really cool, it seems like the trade-off for the spread fire is it causes way less damage than our pistol actually does. Whoa! Get out of here, you freak! So this game also can end up being quite difficult in some of the later levels where you'll end up just getting wrecked like no problem, but it's not a very brutal game where you, like you'll pretty much just respawn at your most recent checkpoint and lose a little bit of gold not really too much only like a hundred or something like that but we're getting lucky on these wolves and getting lots of um uh lots of hearts back but as you saw right there with the little mini map it actually tells us kind of metroid style where the next checkpoint is where the boss is and everything like that and since i've actually already cleared all this area out water kills us by the way it's pretty cool that this is where we normally got the shotgun that you can actually replay zones and grind them out that's actually one feature that I really like about this game and the pistol itself or not the pistol the sword actually is very very invaluable you're gonna want to get in the habit of using it normally you don't really use melee weapons in these types of games but this time it's very very useful because if you don't use it you'll end up getting killed very easily but as you saw right there even though we actually stunned that dude his hitbox still ended up hitting us so it's it's a little bit <laughs> it can definitely end up getting a little bit brutal so what we're gonna do for today is we're probably just gonna try yeah, and get our way up to the boss of course I am using a controller I would highly recommend using a controller to play this game because using a mouse and keyboard well not a mouse and keyboard just the keyboard can actually end up being very very difficult now another thing too that's actually really really cool which I will show you after we get get out of here after we get to the boss if I don't end up dying before we get there because we only have a couple hits left and by the way, these bandits are very, very difficult. You do not want to end up being up on their level because they they just make a mad dash for you, unlike the wolves that just kind of go back and forth. But uh, there's actually a map in this game, and it's very, very cool. Oh, whoops. I didn't even follow my own logic. It's very, very cool because you can actually warp to zones you've already been to. Uh, like I said earlier about going backwards and stuff like that. Oh, great. Well, here's the boss. I didn't get any health or anything, so hopefully we're going to be able to actually defeat him. I don't know about that, though. So this guy is very... <laughs> nope. We touched his tail, and his hitbox is brutal. Oh, at least he just warps us right at him. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, cool. So this guy is actually not too difficult if you can end up landing the jump right, although it is a little bit brutal because his hitbox is just so so big he just kind of wanders back and forth doing all of that oh it seems like our pistol actually upgraded again it gets a little bit of visual increase shoots two bullets now less recoil our first upgrade that we already had before i started recording this actually gave us oh my goodness look at that extra damage actually gave us a uh, bigger bullets and stuff like that as well as just covering a bit more of an area so as you're leveling up the guns i'm sure they do end up becoming quite powerful in the end it's very very cool i actually really think that's so sick so uh, because i actually already defeated that boss once before off camera just as i was testing things out 
you saw while those explosions were going on normally he was actually giving us a ton of diamonds and stuff like that doesn't seem like he gave us that much money just a little bit afterwards and some uh, chicken to heal us up and you can see with the health bar in the top left as we're leveling up our character which is the progress bar under the girl's head in the top left we are actually gaining hearts now if we come to the shop right here this is actually where you unlock the first shop and it's one of these games where it's very very brutal shops it's kind of like Scott Pilgrim where you go into the shop and it's like 15,000 for a sandwich and we don't even have 15,000 even increasing the damage on our sword is 10,000 there's health regen there is also double money for 5,000 and stuff like that it's very very brutal but if we go into the weapons area you can see there are a whole like there's so many different weapons in this game it's actually really really cool and even for the pistol right here, you can see every weapons game have two different types of elemental damage. You can actually get the pistol to freeze enemies for 350,000, so that would definitely take a lot. And then the lightning, which electrifies enemies, as well as getting uh, poison on your shotgun and so on and so forth. There's actually shotguns, RPG, flamethrowers, spike mines, uh, even a boomerang later on, and a laser, which is very, very cool. And then we're back at the first page. So there's one, two, three pages of weapons, which is very, very neato. Now, I'm actually going to show you you all uh, as we progress here this is actually the next cave area we're not gonna end up doing this today although it is a very cool place I just wanted to go in here to show you if you hop to your map anytime here's the big overworld map where you are selecting the area itself so if we want to go back to the first area then we can select the checkpoint within that area so we could actually go to the checkpoint just before the boss and grind the boss up over and over and over again if we actually wanted to but we'd have to go through this screen so you can always warp out at any time going to the most recent checkpoint you've ever been to and I, I just think that that's really really cool that it actually lets you kind of explore uh, the environment and stuff like that and as you saw too uh, I guess I should have mentioned earlier that the knife actually does have higher damage than most weapons but you have to get way too close and personal for it to actually be worthwhile Either way, that's going to be it for today's first look, dudes and dudettes, because there's not really that much else to explain. As you progress through the game, of course, you are going to end up getting more powerful. The game's going to get easier while also introducing more difficult enemies, uh, eventually enemies that shoot you and stuff like that. You can also quit anytime, go to the main menu, and as you saw, even though it says new game on the top, we are actually loading, oh, start, never mind. So it just does have an autosave feature, I guess, based on all the checkpoints and stuff. That's one thing I like about this game because it's one of these small indie games where it's just very pick up and play, very, very easy. Even if we go to Barra's Quest, now we are actually a bear. We don't seem to have a gun. But oddly enough, we do actually have like a little, uh, I guess it's a visual issue or something like that, where we actually still have our level 7 pistol and our main girl's level. So we could actually come into here and have more health and more money if we ended up leveling up our main account. It's a kung fu bear. That seems to be the only thing that you can do. So there is an inventory... Yeah, there's no there's no map on this screen though There's also stats which are kind of fun where you can actually see like your XP Collectibles stuff like that weapon stats and then of course just enemy stats just for fun very very cool game I actually really like it a lot. So anyways, let's go back to the main menu because that's gonna be it Thank you all so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. links will be in the description below and as a special added bonus The dev actually contacted me and gave me a couple extra steam keys So if you want to actually qualify to win uh, any copies of this game, I've only got three codes and of course, I'll retitle the video uh, to like closed or something like that afterwards so that everybody knows whether or not I still have any more of the keys or I've given them away. But otherwise, you're going to have to hadook in the like button, be subscribed to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section down below. And I'll just give somebody a comment or three of you are going to end up winning uh, copies of this game. So anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Sign and stay epic.